Apple started sending out notices that the Mac Pro will be officially available to order on Tuesday, December 10th. Just around the corner. Not too long. This video is going to be outdated quick, but I thought today we could recap on how much nothing has changed since they unveiled this back in June. But also the good news that unlike the iMac Pro, they actually delivered on this thing. They said it was coming in the fall and it's only 11 days before the end of fall, but they are doing it in the fall technically. So without further ado, let's talk a little bit more about the new Mac whatever. Roll the intro. So here's something that I still find a little bit ridiculous. While the 16 inch MacBook Pro we didn't even know about that much back in June is now available in the hands of consumers and professionals because Pro, that thing starts at $2,400 and has a standard of 512 gigs of SSD minimum. The Mac Pro starting at six grand still ships with 256 gigs minimum. Can that just not be there? The iMac Pro is five grand, ships with one terabyte. Also, it's been doing that for two years now. The fact that the six grand ultra Mac whatever ends up shipping with 256 gigs standard plus the basic GPU included is also not very high end. What it says a lot about the Mac Pro and like I talked about in the past the reason I'm not going to be ordering one is because you're not really paying for the specifications that you're getting with the Mac Pro. What you're really paying for is expandability. You're paying for long-term upgrades because yeah you can find computers even on Apple's own site with way better specifications than that basic Mac Pro for a lot cheaper because with this Mac Pro, you have these slots, you have these upgrades you can make down the road. Whereas with the iMac Pro, pretty hard to upgrade. You can't really do much with that. Once you buy it, you're kind of set in stone. But mine is still doing fine, by the way. And while I've seen a lot of YouTubers say that, hey, an eight terabyte storage option is coming to the Mac Pro, currently the website has not been updated to reflect that. So I'm assuming that on December 10th, hopefully they will update some of the specs. I think one they should definitely make is one terabyte storage standard I'm sorry just for a six thousand dollar computer 512 gigs would also be just as bad given that's the standard for a twenty four hundred dollar laptop and the fact that the 16 inch MacBook Pro goes all the way up to eight terabytes of SSD and on Apple's website they have not changed the Mac Pro tech specs to reflect that as a storage option that wouldn't shock me if it turned out that they do update it when the website gets posted and you can officially start ordering this thing but yeah the tech specs are quite dated as it is so hopefully they upgrade that and also the overall cost. This is probably the most exciting thing for the upcoming Mac Pro for me, as someone who is not buying one. How much is a fully maxed out model going to cost? And here's an interesting tidbit for you. It will likely be the most expensive Apple product of all time. Mostly because of that 1.5 terabytes of RAM option. Yes, RAM, not storage. One and a half terabytes of RAM. A while back, 9to5Mac looked at some of the highest tiered specs that Apple was advertising for this Mac Pro, looked at what those parts cost outside of Apple's own pricing margin, and said that this thing could easily cost well over $40,000. That sounds weird. That's the price of a really nice car. That's a really good down payment on a house, by the way. But hey, you know, we all gotta export things, so I guess that's important too. But in the breakdown, they mentioned that 12 sticks of DDR4 ECC RAM is just a little bit shy of $18,000. Yeah, by the way, the most expensive Apple product before this, that solid gold Apple Watch, there were lots of different versions. The cheapest solid gold Apple Watch was $10,000. The most expensive rose gold option, again, made out of real gold, not even gold plated, like the actual metal is just solid gold through and through, and they're probably worth a lot more now, but not from Apple, obviously. That one was $17,000. So just on RAM alone, with this maxed out model, you could be spending basically 18 grand worth of upgrades. Now, of course, eight terabytes of storage is not listed for the Mac Pro yet. I assume it will be on Tuesday because a MacBook getting it and not the Mac Pro, what the heck, that makes no sense. But they're saying that with four terabytes of SSD, that could easily end up being another $2,400 on top of the purchase with eight terabytes, maybe more. And another big price jump with this product is gonna be the 28 core Intel processor. And we don't know exactly how much that CPU is going to cost outside of the Mac Pro, but 9to5Mac and The Verge said it could be somewhere around $8,000 just on the processor alone. May I remind you, the iMac Pro, you could get a really good version of the iMac Pro for $8,000. And then the two AMD Radeon Pro Vega the twos which is a huge mouthful, could easily end up costing over 
$1,000. Given performance-wise, they're very comparable to that of the NVIDIA Quadro RTX, and there's supposed to be two of these things, and something we have no idea about the cost for is Apple's Afterburner card, which is specifically made just for the Mac Pro. They're not selling it outside of that, obviously. You're not going to be able to throw one of those into a Hackintosh, at least for a while, unless you're willing to spend a pretty penny. Maybe you will, I don't know. But this is, of course, ignoring the Pro Display XDR, which is also coming on December 10th, by the way. And even if the numbers for 9 to 5 Mac are being a little bit generous and you want to scale down to just one of these graphic cards, it's very easy to calculate that Apple's Mac Pro maxed out could be somewhere between forty and $50,000, maybe even more once you start partnering all those Pro stands in there. I cannot wait to see how much cash back people are going to get if they buy a maxed out Mac Pro with their Apple card, Goldman Sachs. Oh my god, they're going to be sending out so much cash back they may just go bankrupt. Because even if like a thousand people get the cheapest Mac Pro, that's already going to cost Goldman Sachs $200,000 in cash back. And there's probably going to be more than a thousand people ordering this thing. All of which are of course built in Texas at a new factory. So they finally got those up and running. I'm very curious about the demand for these things. Are we going to be seeing shipping time slip or are these basically all going to be available on launch day right away because how many people are honestly going to be buying them? Maybe a lot. I don't know. Are you going to be buying one? Please let me know by hitting me up over on Twitter or joining me on Discord. Which configuration are you going to get? And yeah, you can expect another video on this exact subject come Tuesday. Not sure at what time in the morning this thing launches. They didn't say midnight or 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. We don't know, but I'll be covering all the details once we get them. This is your Apple Sheep here. I'll see you in the next one.